stupid wooden sword. <laughs> I know it's bad. I'll think of something. You're gonna have to make a run for it, okay? I'll meet you back in town, I promise! Get out of here now! I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen... A wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. I guess going to the scariest place in the world is just another day at work for you, huh? Hey, if I haven't faced down death at least twice before lunch, I'm not living up to my full potential. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. Hey, as long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No. We're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave us here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack... Just place the pieces on the table. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah? <laughs> See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. Even if I wanted to get to know him, there's no way Olivia and Axel would go along with it. Olivia and Axel aren't the boss of you. Just think about it, okay? Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! Uh, crap. Ah! 
This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. Just let me know if you see Reuben anywhere. He's got to be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking. Okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Yeah, what you're doing right now is pretty much perfect. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him either, huh? I'm sorry, Jesse. We look everywhere. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but... It's okay to be a little disappointed, right? More like, a lot disappointed. Cheer up, guys. We'll get him next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. <clears throat> ah! And just who are you? I'm waiting. No, who are you? If you belonged here, you would know. Unless that's all part of the plan? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well? I'm with Petra. My deal is with her, not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't? Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... 
Ivor! Ah, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed, then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's Lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. Lapis isn't so bad. We do need something decorative for the treehouse. Screw this. We're going after it. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yo, you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. I'm just standing around. There he is! Gabriel! Gabriel! Step aside, please. I have just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. What's up? What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. You know, that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay. Maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. He's still missing, you know. Sorry. I hope you find him soon. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Too cool for school. Coolness. Ha, see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. Starts the party off right like a great DJ. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated and mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. Stop messing around, we need your help. I was looking, I swear. I've just got a short attention span. Have you seen Ruben? I was hoping he might have made it to town while I was distracted. I haven't seen hide nor hair, but I'm sure he's fine. He's a tough little ham. 